Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Forager. It's a game on Itch.io that isn't anywhere close to done yet. Let's see if I can change some options here. Equipment. Buy land. Syst system. Okay. Alright, there's no options. I'm gonna turn this down to half, just so we don't have to listen to those pickaxe sounds. I was hoping there would be separate sliders. Anyway, so this game is currently free on Itch.io, though you can also send the developer money if you want to. Uh, I don't know what the release schedule for it is, but um, it's actually been on my radar for a while, and I totally forgot about it until one of my Patreons uh, was just like, Hey, do you take requests? You should play Forager. And I'm like, oh shit, I forgot about Forager. Like, it straight up is installed, was installed on my computer. All I had to do was just launch the game. So I figured, well, I probably should. Let's uh, let's give credit where credit is due. It's it's uh, Daniel Golan, Golan, I don't know, uh, who reminded me this exists. So thank you, because I don't know, I've been meaning to try it. No, my cherries. You can eat some items with right click. Okay, well it doesn't look like we get hungry. Oh, if I don't destroy these, berries may, may regrow. Okay, so don't don't wreck the berry bushes. We also have a hammer that I can mess with. But yeah, this game looks cute. Yeah, I've heard it's kind of like survival sandbox-ish, slash like Legend of Zelda. So, buy land. Cost 23. But I don't have any money to begin with, so I guess let's just mine whatever until we figure out how to make some cash. I might have to like make a structure. We'll see. I'm loving this style. It's very charming. I'm assuming that's like a stamina bar. Well, let's just, uh, let's just destroy everything, uh, in my immediate area. And then figure out what we're going to do from there. I'm assuming I pull out the hammer and break, uh, break stuff, build stuff. Oh, cool. You can just hold down left click. That's good. It looks like I can also level up just by doing this, too. Neat. I will admit, I usually don't play games uh, until they hit Steam. Usually just because, like, before they hit Steam, they're nowhere close to done. But I'll make exceptions, especially for, like, kind of little let's tries and whatnot. Though if this turns out to actually be really fun, then we'll uh, come back for, like, another one. Who knows? I've loved up. <laughs> I love it. Oh, hi? Oh, choose a new skill. Building, magic, combat, or foraging. Building. Gain experience when building structures. Gain more berries, mushrooms, and fruit. Let's get, uh, let's get this one. Oh, it's a whole talent tree. For, uh, forges craft two more coins every time. Blacksmithing. Fur furnaces and forges work 20% faster. I like the talent tree setup. I'd love to see more games uh, kind of adopt this style, because that actually looks really cool. Oh. And trees just randomly regrow. Okay, well that's that's a good sign. And the berries will regrow too. I just have to not break the bushes. Maybe I can replant the bushes. That would that would certainly make my life easier. Normally I would consider this kind of gameplay really boring. You know, just the like go hit stuff. No, don't break the bush. Oh, I gotta be careful. So as to not break the bush. Can I? Nope. I can throw it. I can eat it. Ah, does get me some stamina. Alright, well, time to figure out how to build. Uh, Equipment. Build! There we go. Okay, we can make a furnace, a bridge, or a forge. Well, I guess we'll start with a furnace. Okay, equipment, build, system, buy land. Still can't build anything. Okay, so we can build coal. I guess we gotta start with that at the very least. I think you can hover over the things you break to pick them up. Interesting. Oh! Gold! So it looks like resources randomly just spawned on these islands. Maybe. That'd be kind of neat. Okay, so I can make bricks. I can make iron ingots. Let's let's get to work on those. Actually, we probably want to make a second forge. 
We might want to make several. Or several furnaces. Let's keep making coal. Because yeah, we're going to need a bunch of it. And now we're starting to get a fair amount of gold. Okay. There's gold in them there hills. Or bizarrely flat islands. Eh. Now hopefully we get, like, axes at some point. I would like to hit level 2 before we get, uh... I, I, I'd i like to hit level 2. Okay, good, the berry bush does recover. Good. Yeah, level 2 before we get to, um... Before we start trying to make money, just so I can be as efficient as possible. Now what do I need to make the, uh... Forge, so bricks and... Bricks and stone. Okay. Or bricks and iron. So we'll have to make some more coal, I believe. Yeah, this will put us to three. We need one more piece of coal to get going. This is cute. Very, very, like, stress, uh... Stress-free. After Spider-Man, I think I could kind of use that. Not that I'm, uh, not that it was, like, terribly stressful. But, you know, I just like, I like chill experiences. Alright, let's build us up a forge. Probably just put it there. I'm not a big fan of this initial island, but I'll take what I can get. I mainly just don't like this. Oh, you know what? I bet I can do something about this. Build bridge. Oh. Oh. We unlocked a fish trap. But yeah, this way, this way we actually don't have to worry about that little hole in the beginning. I wonder if I can actually uh, extend this island with bridges and then put things on top of them. That'd be kind of, that'd be kind of helpful. Okay, so what can I make? Coins. But we need gold, we can also make keys. So we need coal. Uh, let's see if we can build another furnace somewhere. Guess we'll just make Furnace Town. Not gonna be very pretty, but eh. Oh well. Okay, we're so close to level two. As soon as we hit level two, we'll be uh, we'll be in the money, I think. Okay. Coinage! Craft two more coins every time. That seems like a reasonable, reasonable idea. Okay. Banking! Grants one coin per minute. <laughs> Free money! Just by existing. Sure. Oh. I guess while we're here, I should check. Can I build a furnace? I can build a furnace on top of bridges. That's actually really useful, so I can fabricate an entire base. I wonder if I can pick these things up. I don't know. Well, one way or another, we can start producing, um... We can start producing... Uh, coinage. Freely. That would be nice and efficient. Looks like everything generally kind of has the same speed. So I'll just kind of re uh, repeatedly produce uh, as much money as I possibly can with this. Let's see. Do you not have a key or something? Uh, there's a better version of this game. Really? I mean, if I'm if I'm playing the inferior demo, uh, I thought it was uh, just available on Itch.io. Oh, you can craft all the items you can in the forge. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, if there's a uh, superior version of this game. Oh, there's a closed beta I can get access to. All right, well, I'll uh, I'll send the developer an email and be like, "Yo, this looks neat. Can I uh, can I play the the real thing and uh, see if they'll go with it?" Oh yeah. So you can craft up to two. 
Let's see, how much money do I have? I got 21, so we should be able to purchase, uh... A whole bunch of stuff. There we go. Okay, buy lands and expand. Well, what if we just single island challenge? I don't think we could actually do anything terribly interesting. It could be pretty boring. Maybe. The idea of it is cool, though. All money. Okay, uh, let's see. So we've got that. Let's... Yeah, I'll, I'll look into buying, uh, buying, getting my hands on the actual proper closed beta. Let's go this way. Chickens. Chickens. Okay, so don't harm the chickens. They grant eggs. There's a rock that was not keen on breaking. And is this just free coal? Oh, this is just loose coal. Perfect. Of course, I have no idea how long it's going to take to break it. But that's okay. Oh, my energy is low. Okay, we should probably... food for a while. Let's make some iron ingots while we're here. Okay. I wish I hadn't squandered my initial... Oh, we can buy a lot of land. Price goes up pretty quick. Hey, we've unlocked... Uh, golden pickaxes and stuff. Golden shovel. So we gotta get down to, to a shovel. It also requires some other resource that I don't recognize. What is this? Steel. Okay, so we should probably get crack lacking on that one. It'll take a little bit. Well, this is... This is neat. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, now that I know that there's a superior version to the one that I'm playing, uh, my motivation to actually go beyond just this quick look uh, has kind of dropped considerably, because now it's like, well, alternatively, uh, well, I guess that's fine. We can actually just leave this as a, a, a very quick vignette, and then be like, yeah, we'll be back to this in a little bit. I should probably make another uh, an anvil just so we can jam out some more coins quickly. Okay. Keep making as many of those as you can. As many of those as you can. We're out of gold ore. Alright, well that's fine. Some steel. I mean a lot of iron. Okay. But no, that's fine. I mean, honestly, I actually kind of prefer it when it's just like, Oh, hey! This just gets to be a one-off video, and then you can actually work on the series later. Uh... Probably gonna do the same thing with Strange Brigade in a matter of weeks or something like that. I don't know. Whenever my friends feel like playing uh, Strange Brigade, or maybe maybe I'll uh, I'll see if Bird wants to pick it up at some point. Maybe once we're done with uh, Monster Hunter World, and then uh, we can get Shell on for something for once. I think she'd enjoy that. Okay, foraging. Foraging might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's gain more uh, berries, mushrooms, and fruit. We need some proper food. Uh, any minute now. Oh, you know, what? I should probably uh, figure out a key. Let's uh, let's slap down some bridges. Oh right, it's hold shift to place multiple. Ow. No! My logs! I don't know why I randomly just took damage there. That bit's confusing and a little scary. Okay. So we need to make a key. That key is, uh... Requires some effort. Okay. I wonder what it takes for us to heal here. 
Or if we just randomly die. I hope- I hope we heal. I- I hope death does not just randomly take us and it's like, well, you lose. Alright, so I got the key. Alright, there we go. Well, we get a, uh... Huge amount of money. And we're good. Okay, so let's buy some land. Real quick. Uh... Buy one thing of land. Hot damn. It got pricey. Let's go straight down, I guess. We've unlocked a market. Holy crap. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was starvation damage. Good to know. And we're back up to full health. So, I... It looks like this is going to be a series. However, uh... This is just going to be a quick look for the for this episode, as we are going to want to get the actual uh, closed beta version with potentially more features uh, for next time. I think I'll play some of this tomorrow. This is this is really fun, uh, but I don't want to play too much of this, as uh, we've got you know, well, this ain't the full version. That's a lot of stuff. You need better tools to make the big things. Yeah, no, I figured. I just haven't been looking, uh, I just haven't been looking into it, because, you know, kind of, kind of wrote everything off. I'm like, eh, we'll be done with this. In, uh, in not too long. I think that is, I think that remains true. This is cool, though. I, as far as, like, basic first impressions of a game goes, this game nailed it. Like, real hard. So, it's, this version's available on Itch.io for free, and apparently there's some kind of closed beta that you, you might be able to get access to? Uh, I don't know if you'll have to ask the developers, if you have to pay money, or what exactly, but I guarantee we will have that for next time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little quick look, and I'll see you guys next time.